good day today I'm gonna work with this uh, Alberta spruce uh, pine uh, I trimmed it already about a month ago uh, and we're right on middle of summer or start of summer and I think it's now the right time to rewire it and uh, move the branches uh, the material is still very raw but usually on spring up to summer I let it uh, grow wild uh, so that the tree will uh, get its uh, full potential energy so it will just uh, grow healthy so summer uh, the foliage will become uh, hardy and uh, that's the time that uh, you wire it so to move it in place so very little uh, pruning will be done but uh, as I already pruned it I will only now move the branches to its uh, proper location it has been styled already a year ago so but now I think uh, I have to uh, restyle it again same style but uh, rewire and uh, move the branches okay so let me just show you some characteristics of the tree okay so tree is very bushy now so you cannot see the trunk line of the tree which is uh, not very good I have to somehow show it so that uh, people can see the movement of the trunk okay. so or else it's just gonna be a bush okay. so I'm gonna move it and also my the angle of my pads are you know, it's very vertical you have to move it down to make the tree more compact okay, so <clears throat> to make a branch uh, compact or to make a pad compact it's either you put some movement to it or you make the angle uh, you know acute or something so bring it down so that the tree will be compacted okay. so I'm gonna remove some wires first and then uh, uh, let's see what happens when I'm about to move all the branches I'm gonna wire them all first and then uh, let's move the branches together there's gonna be some guy wires here and uh, heavy bending okay so I'm gonna work the tree from ground up so first agenda uh, is to remove this uh, this branch right here okay, so I'm gonna remove it so again you have to see the trunk line for me okay, so it's it's uh, hiding the trunk line okay, the foliage is hiding the trunk line so I'm gonna remove this branch here then I'm gonna work this uh, area down this is like a twin trunk then uh, go up okay. so I'm gonna finish the bottom area and then I'm gonna show you okay so now I'm done with the bottom part okay. so this area here now is already exposed so you can see somewhat the nibari and uh, trunk movement here okay so I remove some branches small ones see the angle now uh, I moved it down 
Okay, so that's the first uh, part of the tree. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on going up. Okay. So my next agenda is to move this branch here, low lowest branch. Move it forward more, and then the back branch. I don't know if you can see. It. fix this uh, low branch back branch okay? and uh, uh, form it into a nice pad so we'll do that now and then uh, I'll show you again okay so I fixed the bottom now probably won't see it yet so I still have some uh, heavy polish here uh, yeah fix the bottom mm, back and uh, side branch okay. so a lot of work will be done here on top so I'm gonna start working on it now and then uh, let's see the finished product So now the part is done. You can see now the mm, body of the tree somehow first bend. Mm. So I compacted the tree by uh, moving the angle of the pads. Okay. See this one? Yep. So yeah. So the thing to do now is uh, make this, uh, yeah, remove this one, this one into a gin and another one here at the back, which I will do now and then I will show you the final part.
Okay, so I'm done with the tree. I also uh, yeah, finished my gin. So I remove this branch here, made, turn it into a gin because it's sticking out right in the middle of the trunk line. Okay. Also, the one here made it into a gin. So, there's too many things going on on top. So this year, uh, this tree is done for this year. So I'm gonna let it uh, be on its own right now again. So next spring, this I will repot this one. So see what happens. And yeah, hopefully, a few years uh, this will turn into a very nice. Uh, three so yeah there you go